There is just one thing I need. It ain't Christmas anymore, so shut it. Hey guys, it's Cleo, welcome back. So today we're throwing it back. It's Throwback Thursday. It's actually Thursday when I'm filming this. Sometimes things just work out like that, you know? Well, we're not throwing it back that far, but we are doing another one of my Brandy recommendation videos. I've done a decent amount of these in the past, but it has been a minute. Instead of doing the which ones are worth your money and which ones are not type thing, I thought I would just literally give you my top recommendations from them. Some of the things that I'm recommending I have and some of them I don't. There's plenty of stuff from Randy that I don't recommend and I can do a whole video just things I don't recommend but I do feel like it's definitely more useful to be like okay these are what you should get rather than like this is what you shouldn't get. This isn't all of the things that I would recommend from them but I just went based off what's on their website right now. If you guys want an updated like everything I have from Brandy video, let me know. I'll do another one. Other than that, you guys, when I'm filming this, we just hit 39,000 subscribers. So once we get to 40, I am going to do a giveaway. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, let me know what type of giveaway you guys would want. I can do brandy. I can do like skincare. I can do just like a combo of a bunch of stuff. Also, make sure to follow my TikTok. I've been posting a lot more on there. And other than that, I'm going to stop blabbering on. Is blabbering a word? Yeah, talking foolishly, mindlessly, or excessively. Something I do quite often. Okay, all right, let's do it. Okay, so up first, something that has become one of my favorite things from them, their underwear. Weirdly enough, they have super good quality underwear and they're like seven bucks a piece. I'm literally wearing a pair right now. That might be TMI, but... <laughs> So they have like these types that they have on the website right now. The ones that I got were in store and they had like a bunch of them. They're really soft and they're really comfy and they have some really, really cute prints. And I feel like it's a decent price, especially when compared to like Victoria's Secret and stuff, which I know is definitely a very different style of underwear, but, and then similar to that, they're boy short, like boxer underwear. So I have a few of those. I wear them all the time to sleep just with like a big t-shirt. I have these little floral ones that are super cute. I have these striped blue ones that I love and then I also have these white ones that are like ribbed. These ones are a little bit looser than the other ones but yeah they're super comfy and super cute. These ones are 10. Okay so moving on to some actual clothing items. For some bottoms the Anastasia sweatpants I feel like one of their main things is like sweatpants. They have r the rows of sweatpants but the sizing on those just like frustrates me so I kind of avoid those. So I have them in this white color. So I've had these in another color as well but for some reason these ones are a little bit smaller. I don't know why but I really like these. They don't come in at the ankle like the Rosa sweatpants, which I kind of prefer. I've been wearing these white ones a lot. And they're 35, which isn't cheap, but it isn't expensive for the quality. And then another pair of pants. These are one of my top, like top, top top <laughs> recommendations from them. The Priscilla pants. So I've had these in multiple colors. Um, I've had them in like light gray, navy blue. My favorite color that I've been wearing so much recently is this like dark heathered gray. I'm just obsessed with it. And for some reason, this color in particular, the material is just so soft. Like it's softer than the other colors that I've tried. These ones I would avoid the lighter colors because they are a bit see-through. But this color isn't see-through at all. And it's so, so comfortable, you guys. Like genuinely, I could wear these every day. And they have like different little matching like bra style tank tops that have a matching color for the pants and they have a decent amount of colors on the website but yeah these are definitely my top favorite like color I just really like the waistband because you can have it like this or you can fold it over and I just think it looks so cute it's just that like classic yoga pants style it's a little bit flared and they're just so comfortable so yeah I definitely want these in some more colors but I want to buy them in store because I want to see which ones are the most comfortable. <laughs> okay, and then on to some sweaters. So I've talked about the Christy sweaters before. They're just a super, super good quality zip up. So I have this dark forest green one that I love. I think this color is so cute and it's just really good, heavy, nice material. And then I also have this brown one. They aren't cheap, but I feel like for the quality, they're honestly a pretty decent price. And then I also really like this sweater from them. I felt this in the store. I haven't had it, but it's super cozy and I really like the stripe detail and like the little zipper. I think it's super cute and I think it'd be really cute with some leggings or even some jeans. And then for some not oversized zip ups, the Alana zip up sweater is super cute. It's a good length. It's a super soft material. And I really like these like small throwovers. I would definitely get this. And then similar to that, but cable knit, the Ayla cable knit sweater, I have it in this light bluish purple color. And it is so comfortable, you guys. It's like that just soft, heavy material. It's a zip up as a hood. I definitely recommend this one. And it's 38, which is like, eh, I wish it was like 32, but okay. And then for 
for some tank tops. The Ronnie Lace Long Tank is one that I've been wanting for a really long time. I just think the design's really cute. I like that it's like different color for the lace. I felt these type of tank tops from them before. They're kind of just like a basic ribbed cotton material. They're usually pretty comfy. Nothing special material, but I think the style is super cute and it's like 16 bucks, so I think it's worth it. And then another one that I've always liked from them is the Skylar Floral Tank. This one is more lengthy than the other ones that they used to have. It's also not that like ribbed material that stretches out really easy. This one's definitely softer and I like the material a lot more. It is 20, which is a little bit much, but I definitely think it's worth it. I like these ones a lot more than their old Skylar Floral Tanks. And then for some more sweaters, the Brianna Cotton Thick Stripe Sweater is a super, super good one. I've like been tempted to get these a few different times, but I just never did. But the quality is super, super good. It's not an itchy knit. It's super soft and comfy. 38 is honestly, I think a really good price for it because it is super good quality and I think it would last you a really long time. And then the Christie hoodies, but like the graphic ones, I really like this Boston one that they have on the website right now. I have one in my closet. I don't know why I didn't bring it out, but it's not this design, but it's really good quality. I've had it for forever. Also the Erica like graphic sweaters. I think this one's so, so cute. It's like really nice and embroidered too. It's not just like a print on. I have one of the graphic Erica's. I've shown you guys this before, but it's just this Los Angeles black one and I've had this for forever and I don't think I will ever get rid of it because it's just so freaking comfy and such a good crew neck. I tend to like crew necks better than hoodies. So if you're deciding between the Erica and the Christie, they're pretty much the same thing. Just one has a hood. Okay. And then for some t-shirts. So the Haley basic top is a really good one. It's a nice fit. It's not too tight, but not like loose. It's 18. Nice, like lightweight, soft material. I think it's a really, really good basic. And then the Haley striped top. So I found a new love for these little like striped t-shirts from them. So I have this adorable little brown striped one. It is so soft. You guys, I wear this all the time. It's just like the most cozy, like cotton material. And I just love little striped tees. Like I'm such a sucker for these. If I see these, I'm just like, oh my God, they're just so cute to me. And they're only 18 bucks, which I honestly think is a really good price for how freaking soft it is. And then for another striped tee, the Zelly long striped tops. So this is the one they have on their website right now, but I have this little blue and white striped one. It just has these little buttons. It's so cute. I also wear this all the time. Same material as the other one. And it is just so soft. I like that they're longer as well. I feel like it's nice with a pair of jeans. It's just this cute little simple outfit. And then I also have this darker one. It's like a black and really dark gray. Same buttons, super cute, super, super soft. Obsessed with those. And then for some graphic stuff, um, this Tory New York top is super, super cute. I have a Tory top, but it's not the same color or print or anything. And I like the length of it. I really want this one. I think it's adorable. I think it can be styled so cute. It's a nice material. I like the graphic on it. And they usually have some other ones on their website in different styles as well. I don't know why I said onto graphics as if we had more than one. Then we have the sofa skirt, which I don't have, but I have seen this and it is such a nice material. It's really flowy. It's just such a unique style. I feel like I haven't seen from them. The material is a little bit see-through because it is white, but I feel like if you have like white or nude underwear on, you're good to go. But I just think it's so cute if you're into that kind of like cottage core style, it's super pretty. And then for some accessories, I've been wanting to get this bag from them because I just think it is the cutest freaking style ever. It's called the shoulder buckle bag. They have it in two different colorways and it's just so freaking cute. And their bags are always, at least all the ones I've tried or felt have been super good quality. So this one's 28, which I think is honestly a pretty good price. And they're so cute. And then another bag, any of the their tote bags. They're super cute and they're literally $8. It's just like that kind of like canvas tote bag material and they come in a bunch of different styles with different prints and stuff. So I think they're very cute and definitely worth $8. And then one bag that is kind of more expensive, but super good quality if you're looking for one, they're duffel bags. They're super spacious. They can put a bunch of stuff. I've had one, this green striped one, I've had from them for, I'd say probably six years, like no joke, maybe five. And it's lasted me. The only thing that it has a little bit of pilling on the material, but it's like, completely fine quality other than that. This one is 52. I think it's really cute though, and it's definitely good quality. Another accessory, their hats. Their hats are always really cute. They have like a bunch of different colors and designs on the website right now. I have one, I can't find it, but they're like 10 to 15 bucks. They're good quality. They feel like just good baseball caps. And then lastly, when it comes to jewelry from them, kind of depends. If you're gonna get one that's like silver or gold, it's probably gonna turn green after a while because it is just like not the best quality and it's really cheap. Some of their necklaces are like five bucks. So if you are gonna get one of those. I mean, they have a lot of cute designs, but they definitely are going to like, like if you put them in water and stuff or like shower with them, they're going to 
kind of get gross pretty fast. But I got this pearl bracelet from them the last time I went and I've had it on for a couple weeks now. It's been totally fine. I think it's super cute. It's just like nice and simple. So anything from them that's like more like beads and stuff usually tends to last a lot longer because it's not gonna like get rusty and stuff or like turn your skin green. So I definitely would recommend that one because it's super cheap. But majority of their accessories I actually really like and I appreciate that they are pretty affordable. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope this was helpful. I will have everything I showed linked down below as long as it's still on the website. If you do want me to do an updated like everything I have from Brandy video, definitely let me know in the comments below. Or if you want me to do a like clothes I've gotten from Brandy that I don't like video, I can do one that's just that. Just let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Yeah, make sure to subscribe so we can hit 40k and do a fun little giveaway. Uh, like the video if you liked it. It actually helps a lot. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon.